I have here another version of the lithium ion battery boxes this is for the 18650 lithium ion rechargeable batteries. This one has two USB output and this here is the micro USB port for charging. There's an LED light here and there's a selector switch here for half amp, one amp and two amp. And the hole here is for a reset button or the activate button. For this model, the uh, USB 2 is for the iPad and the iPhone, which uh, needs a higher current output. This is uh, for the regular uh, USB devices. This one here is only one USB output and it has a two different types of input and an on off switch and you can press on the side here to use the LED as a flashlight and also there's a uh, indicator for charge and a reset button is over here there is protection circuit for the lithium ion batteries. I know that because I uh, crossed the wire on a USB output once and this reset immediately and to uh, or sh rather shut off and what I had to do was to just press this reset button once and uh, it worked again. I think the instructions was not to press the reset button for too long just press it once otherwise it can uh, damage the circuit so that's good to know for me anyway this one is when I got it it was expensive I got it uh, a while back and then now it's about eight or nine dollars this one here is also about nine dollars or eight dollars and supposedly there are two versions one, uh, you don't have to do any activation at all to activate the protection circuit. The other, supposedly you have to. But I would assume this one doesn't need to activate because they have to reset all the way down there. You have to push a pin in there. Anyway, if you put in your batteries and recharge and... Um, you want to use the USB output and it doesn't work then you probably have to reset you have to reset the battery or activate the battery when I first got this, this is this is very sleek very nice looking no screws like this one here you have to unscrew to get at the inside this seems to be more utilitarian black and uh, so how do you open this? I was trying to pry it open with my fingernails. But of course, it works pretty much like a cell phone. You have to just slide the button, uh, the back cover off just about a quarter inch and then lift up. Now this is important because the little tabs here are very fragile and you can very easily break the cover and then without any screws uh, you would have to use scotch tapes to uh, secure it again and that's not good so this has a very clean inside the circuit board is covered unlike this one here this is a little messy and uh, but you can see what you're actually getting this one here, everything is of course uh, covered and in parallel. You you charge it in parallel, and that's it. Um, let me plug this back in. Uh, select a switch for the rate of charge. To turn on, press once, and there's a little red. LED indicator light here and there's a charge indicator 2550-7500 you can see the level all the way up means 100% and to turn off you have to have 
you push this a long press then the red LED goes off and then um, the box is not active I guess you have to turn this on when you need to use the USB output there's also a flashlight here and to turn it on I, I couldn't figure it out at first I had to go back to when I where I bought the um, battery box and see the description to see how it worked because it co really comes with no no kind of instruction turn the LED on press this button here twice so this would be like your flashlight to turn it off press it two times sounds confusing well it is um, this light here is easy you just um, turn the box on and press the button on the side wouldn't you like this better than this this one press it twice press it twice now if you didn't press it quickly enough then it wouldn't turn off. You, you, now you can press two times but sometimes it'll go off, sometimes it won't. So now to turn off this unit, the whole unit, press this until everything goes out. So if it sounds confusing to you, it is. It is confusing to me that's what I mean with some of these fancy stuff it looks simple, looks sleek but it's difficult to use imagine uh, you're flying a plane and yeah how am I gonna land this uh, yeah press that button you know it controls five different things well by the time you find out you it's goodbye this one here check the battery status just press here so there's a dedicated function, a uh, dedicated button for it. You know, use a flashlight, J just press this on the side. Yeah, I like this one better actually. Okay, what else is there to say about this? I think it's a little overkill um, for the current selection because I don't think you really need it. The only thing is, they have two ports here. One, they say, might be dedicated for an iPad, and the other, because maybe the data line, um, there's a there's a function. So I'm solar charging this set of batteries, and you can see the light flashing. This micro USB port I don't like because they're very usually very flimsy. I had a little trouble before with this connection and I'm not sure if it's the particular plug that I was using. Um, when I plugged it in, it charged for a little bit and then it stopped. And then um, I jiggle it a little bit and it seems to be working now. Usually the micro USB port it's just glued on instead of soldered on like this one here this is the mini USB port on this other box here and this looks much more secure plus you have you also have another I think this is a 3.5 M input for charging also so even though this has only one USB output I like this one better. I like this solid on off switch instead of this type of one switch does all uh, kind of switch. This might look a little ugly but uh, I think this, this actually works better for me.